Ethan, I'm making pancakes. How many do you want? I will give it a pass, Dad. Thanks. You want toast instead? No, I'm going to school soon. In this shirt? Yeah, so I will grab something from the canteen. Okay. The trainees will help you wash the bowls and spoons, clear tables, serve customers. And then once they've mastered that, we'll assess if they're up to making Tao Hui. How many trainees do you think you can take on? Me one? Oh, so, sorry, yeah. Uh, can we do this another time? I really can't think of the social enterprise. Uh, Ananya, you tell me honestly. This Jeffrey, uh, he's going to get away with what he did to Ella. Mm. There's really no way we can do anything. Uh, I'm not a lawyer and I don't know the full picture. But it does sound like it will be difficult to make a rape charge against Jeffrey. There's no physical evidence, no, no witnesses, just Ella's word against his. But at least this horrible man is sacked from KSUH, right? He left in disgrace, he lost everything. If the law does not punish him, maybe karma will. How is it that you never have a single strand of hair out of place, not even during training? Down, girl. Stay away from these lovely locks. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's still in place. Did you use a whole bottle of hair wax or something? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? <sighs> but Zarif is my son. If I don't help him, who's going to help him? Che, you mustn't let him know that you know about it. Know about what? Uh, Zarif, what are you doing here? I just finished night call. Thought I'd swing by for a quick breakfast. So, what can I know? Kak, did you tell Ibu I couldn't get a bank room for the house? Uh, uh, don't need to get angry, okay? Rose told me she wanted to see how we can help you. I didn't want anyone to know because I feel like I'm such a failure. What nonsense? You're not a failure. I promised Kali I'll buy the house. But the finances are not working out. She was going to gloat. Why didn't you think about your finances before getting Kali's hopes up? Uh, Zarif, uh, uh, how much do you need? I have some savings. Property agent. He said that no one is interested in an apartment because I am asking for too much. The chances of selling is high if I lower it down by 10%. Lowering it 10% would bring it down to the price the agent suggested from the start. <laughs> you think I've been unrealistic. Chill, Ken. No, no, you think I'm pricing myself out. Well, here's the thing. If I list it down, some lowballer will come in and bargain it down even further. And we will not be able to afford another place that's the right size for us. Well, maybe it's not the best time to sell the apartment. Huh? Maybe you should hold on to it and wait for the property prices to get better. I need liquidity. The partnership with Junior Brains isn't going well, and it's a matter of time before they pull the plug on Frutanja. That might not happen. It might. So by hook or by crook, I need to raise enough money from the sale of the apartment to save the company and buy us a new flat. Oh, I left my phone here this morning. Hello? Yes, Louis. I'm on the way. I have to get to work. Let's talk later, OK? Mm. The bulk of our overheads is staff salary and rental. We are already running a skeletal crew. I can't reduce my manpower anymore. If we can find smaller, more ulu place to rent, we can save quite a bit on rent. Ibu, if you do that, your business will be affected. No, don't worry. My regular customers followed us here from the Shelly Holdings canteen. They will follow us anyway. But she's right. Singaporeans will travel for good food. It doesn't matter where we are. As long as our food is good, customers will continue coming. So if we can cut the rental cost by 40%, plus my savings, you should have enough cash to pay your down payment. Ibu, thank you. Thank me for what? I will pay you back the money. Of course. What do you think? Borrow from Bank of Ibu, no need to pay back. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jessica. Richard, what are you doing here? I was supposed to meet my publisher here, but she cancelled at the last minute. May I join you?
What is behind your obsession with her? What obsession? Me one. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Jessica, I gave you the idea of giving the interviews and it worked. Public opinion is on your side. Well, it didn't completely work, did it? Jessica, you have a good daughter, a flourishing business, the respect of your peers. You have so much. Yes. And to get all of that, do you know how much I had to do? How much pain and at what cost? But she does nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. She just sits there and people like Derek, Adam, even Yo, they're always taking her side. They're all protecting her. Can you believe that Derek even lied about KSUH firing Jeffrey from the board just so Maywan can think some justice was done? That somehow Jeffrey was punished just to spare her feelings? The things that they all do to help her, it's not fair. Let me give you some tea. Kak, please don't let Shira know that Ibu's helping me with the down payment. I won't tell. It's Ibu I'm worried about. You know how she is. She just says whatever comes to her mind. Well, she knows how important buying the house is to you. And she also knows what Shira is like. She wouldn't want to embarrass you in front of her. But her dementia... So maybe because of that, Shira may not take what she says seriously. We have no idea what she might say. Just be prepared. Ah, nice of you to finally join us, Ananya. <laughs> Don't start with me, Louis. I had to go to BLTH bright and early. In my rush, I forgot my phone. I had to rush home to get it. Oh, yes. How did the meeting with Mewan go? Not well. She's still really hung up on getting justice for Ella. She barely heard a word I said. All the more reason for us to get the ball rolling. Oh yes, Yoke. Work with Ananya on this. Me? Yeah. Maybe one needs to quit a cleaning job here so she can focus on a social enterprise. I mean, she needs all the help she can get. And you are the best person for the job. But... You know the ins and outs of the Huawei business better than anyone here. You can just dive right in. But I... Resistance is futile. I've made my decision. Hello? Jeffrey? Oh my god, how are you? Where are you now? Switzerland? On a ski trip? Oh, I'm so envious. I'd take a round-the-world trip too if the Shelleys paid me off to resign from the company. You won't believe what I just heard about that, Jeffrey. What? He got sacked from KSUH, is it? Hmm? Everyone knows, huh? No, no. Then what? He got whacked again, is it? No, he wasn't fired from KSUH. No, apparently, the Shelleys paid him to resign from the board. They paid him? Are you sure? Yeah, that Belle from Lux was just talking to him on the phone. He called her from Switzerland. Ella's in this state because of that joke. And he's enjoying life in Switzerland? Okay, look, you cannot tell Auntie Maywan about this. She will go ballistic if she finds out. Hello, Auntie Maywan works at KSUH. You think she won't find out? No, she's not working in KSUH anymore. Since when? Since Louis stole her too. When he wanted to concentrate on Handsome Boss Social Enterprise. I knew it. When it comes to the Shelleys, it's never that simple. What are you talking about? Don't you see? The Shelleys lied to Auntie, then made her quit so that she won't find out the truth about Jeffrey leaving. I'm going to tell her about this. Hey! Nathan? Hi, Angelina. Hey, are you heading home? Yeah. Great. Can you give this to your father and make sure that he eats? He was stressing out over the finances. I'm quite sure he forgot to have lunch. Um, Angelina, honestly, are we really that broke? Don't worry, okay? The situation isn't as bad as your father makes it out to be. I mean, you know how he panics. It's way past lunchtime. That's probably starving. I should get going. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you at home. Yeah. Cannot be! 
You ask Zara, Jeffrey caught that bell from Lux. He's having a good time in Switzerland with the money he got from the Shelleys to resign from KSUH. But Derek told me that Jeffrey got sacked. Thanks, Keith. Auntie Miwan, I've asked. Everyone says Jeffrey resigned. Got paid off to resign from KSUH, you mean? Well, at least the down payment settled. That's half the battle won. Bro, you should have waited till you're financially stable before you commit to buying a new house. I made a promise to Khalid to buy the house. I'm not about to go back on my word. Dude, seriously, stay away from those guys. Who was that? Uncle Zarif. Who are you asking him to stay away from? Finance companies. It's going to take a loan from them to finance the mortgage for his new house. Interest alone will kill him. Well, Uncle Zarif's a doctor. I'm sure he can afford it. I thought so too. But he doesn't have any savings, so to speak, and he's still paying off his study loan. He better pray he doesn't lose his job or he will be sinking in debt even before he finishes his residency. No, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. You know, Nathan, a word of advice. Never be a lender or a borrower and whatever you do, never land yourself in debt. Because once you are neck deep in it, you have to save, scrim and even starve to clear it. Well, speaking of starve, you must be hungry. Auntie Anania got you lunch from Adinas. Are you looking at the finances again? Is there anything I can do to help? Actually, there is. But let me eat first. So? Hey, Wan, what brings you here? No wonder Louise asked me to quit. You were responsible for that, right? What? You don't pretend you don't know. Louise just felt you needed to focus on your social enterprise. That's why. <laughs> More like so, I won't know that Jeffrey resigned. Why do you lie to me? You told me he was sad. Okay, fine. He resigned. What's the difference? As long as we've seen the last of him. You are protecting the monster. Don't be ridiculous. Believe me, he's the last person I want to protect. If you are not protecting him, then why won't you find a lawyer to help me sue him? Like I said, it's Ella's word against his. You don't have a case. May one, the man is gone. He cannot hurt Ella anymore. That's what matters, right? He is enjoying himself now while my poor daughter is in hospital. He had to leave everything behind that he built up in Singapore. His businesses, his reputation, his influence. That's as good as any revenge you'll ever get. I don't want revenge. I want justice. You rich people think that money and power is everything. What about justice? Justice and truth for my Ella. <laughs> See, this unit in the next block sold for ten percent less than what you listed for our apartment. The one on the twelfth floor went for 20% less, and the one downstairs is asking for 15% less. So it's true. I have to reduce the price by 10%, just as the agent wants. At least 7% if you want to have a buffer to bargain with. Nathan, how do you know these things? When I was your age, I only knew how to play computer games. Dad, all the property prices and valuations are online. You just have to do a bit of market research. In fact, you can list the apartment on social media. I wonder how we managed to survive without internet and social media back in the day. Well, life without social media must have been so much simpler. It's a double-edged sword, really. I know, right? Especially when you're living with a wannabe influencer who sees the need to post every single thing online. Um, I have a dinner appointment, so I won't be eating at home tonight. So last minute? Yeah, it's just some orchid ladies thing. See you later. Auntie, let me do it. It's okay. You look tired. Why don't you go home and rest? I'll clear up later and close the shop. Hmm? Yeah, go back home. Ah. Even worse, ah. there's nothing to do. I will only keep thinking of that man, ah, what he did to Ella.
You feeling better? I took the antacid you gave me, but I still feel like crap. Serves you right for having all that coffee on an empty stomach. Why didn't you have lunch? I had only like four cups. You know, I used to drink five cups of coffee a day. No problem. Now, I have two and my hands start shaking and I'm bouncing off the wall for days. Should I take another antacid tablet? Is dinner on the way? The delivery guy called, said there's been a delay. Have some breakfast. Okay. Slowly. You're gonna choke. Oh, we're out of eggs and milk. Is there anything else I need to pick up from the supermarket? Maybe another loaf of bread. Elizabeth, what are you doing here? Ah, oh, Reef, <laughs> just nice. Help me put these big sheets there. Sure. So how, Ibu? Do you like your new room? Sorry, it's not as big as your old room. Silly boy. Oh, what's that to be sorry about? This room has a nicer view. Where do you want to put this? Oh, there. Up there. Okay. Uh, there. Okay. You know, Reef, I'm so happy we finally have a house to call our own. Ibu, you should be saving up for your retirement instead of lending me for the down payment. If only I didn't loan my savings to Ashley. And you had to finance your medical studies. I should have paid for your medical school. You wanted to retake your A-levels so you can get into medical school to be a doctor. But I didn't think you could make it. I doubted you and made you waste so much time. It's not a waste of time. I'm a better doctor because of my experience as a nurse. Riff, you put yourself through medical school without any help from me. And now, you're buying a house for us. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Shira, your things from the storeroom. Thanks, Rose. What's this doing here? I thought I threw it out. Oh, that's so pretty. It's from Zarin. Dewi must have packed it back in. Shira, have you thought about what's going to happen when Zarin is back? We took a long time to get used to each other. Whatever it is, he better not disturb the peace. What if he can't fit in with us? Well, if Zarin wants to live with us, he should jolly well play by our rules. What? Are you sure? Super sure. She is the one who hooked me and Ella up with the client. Debbie, what did you say? Uh, I'll call you back. Huh? Uh. That woman with Jessica. I've seen her before. She's always coming here to look for Jessica. Is it? Mm, she's probably Jessica's customer. I'm here to buy things. So late already. The shop is already closed. Okay, okay. She's the mama son of the sugar baby ring. She got us our clients. So she's the one who introduced Ella to Jeffrey, is it? What is she doing with Jessica? Uh, auntie. Ah, Jala. Yo, you better come over to Lux now. How 
come you know Ella's mama son? What connection do your two of you have? What are you up to now, Maywan? You are the one who introduced the monster to Ella, right? Mrs. Shelley, maybe I'll come back another day to collect the dress. You don't pretend, ah. Jimmy, what? Debbie, ah, Debbie. You say she's the mama son for the sugar baby ring, right? Yeah. She introduced us to the clients. Watch what you say. I can sue you for slander. Maywan, you are disturbing my customer. Why are you doing this to me? I know you are upset about Ella, but do you have to take it out on all of us Shelleys? Ella was fine when she was living under our roof. But after she left, she's been on this self-destructive streak. Looks like to me, if anyone is to blame, it is you, Maywan. If you had been any kind of a mother to her and given her all the love and care that she needed, she wouldn't have destroyed herself like this. Foolish girl. Ella is not foolish! I'm so sorry about this. Why don't you come back tomorrow? Let me get rid of this annoying pest. I'm talking to you! Jessica, are you okay? You can't help with the personal loan. Sorry, if she and I calculated again. I don't think we can make it work. I can help you with my personal savings. 50, 100,000? I will pitch in with the mortgage. Thanks. But if I don't even make the down payment, how do I show the bank I have sufficient liquidity? Then the loan is definitely out of reach. I'm so sorry, Zarif. People don't apologize. I shouldn't be taking your money to begin with. <laughs>